So this year, whatever that will stop your miracle will be stopped by God. Amen. Whatever. This is a year I've been waiting for. I've been telling people. It's a very difficult year. It's a very what? Difficult, difficult year. But to Christians, it's a jubilee. Amen. It's a very difficult year. A very strong year. But to Christians, it's what? When Satan is causing confusion, God will be releasing his children. Yeah. This is a very good year. I don't care what you have, you have been facing for many years. But this is a year that, you know, you can go to God and say, this is a jubilee year. What's the meaning of jubilee? What's the meaning of jubilee? If jubilee means I must not have a debt, it means debts are cancelled. Yeah. If jubilee means I have to rejoice, jubilation, there have to be excitement. Something has happened this year in Jesus' name. Yeah. If I'm supposed to reach the fulfillment of my calling, this HIV, can you just pass it? Come, run forward here. You'll be healed now. This lady who's running, you, this lady, this lady, this lady, only this lady. This lady, God has touched this lady. God has touched this woman. You see this woman? The way she ran there, God has healed her. She's healed right now here. You people go back. You, the way you run, you means, okay, let me get one from that side who want a job. The way you run, the moment you stop, this brother, the way he ran, come, brother, this one. This one, this one, he got a job, this one. You got a job. You got a job. You got a job. You got a job. Take it! All right. Let, the moment you run, coming to me, the first person who run is the one. I'll be watching. Let me get someone there who want to marry. That side. Who want to marry or get married. You see this brother, the way he came out. But he's, this one is a visitor. Where do you come from? He's a visitor. I'm from Mabopani. Touch your chest in Jesus' name. <laughs> Come on, you are free, you are blessed. Jesus. Let me get the last person that side of HIV. Run, HIV. You see this lady run, but with doubt. But this brother of white t shirt also doubted like this. Come together. Stop there. Come. Come. Stand here. If we are doubting, stand with this lady. How long your age have you? Because you doubt, I ask you a question. Uh, one week. One week. Two years. Two years. You are free. <laughs> Let me get one person. You see, I'm pretty that side. I'm not pretty this side. It's not that there's no disease here. I want one person of diabetes that side. One person. That side. You see the, Mama, because you ran, come. You even ran before this one. Yes. You saw that? Yes. You ran before this one. Let me touch you. you. I have to touch you. So that you, let me touch you again. Let me touch you. The way you run, you makes me happy. And then you are free. Go and check. Let me get another one. Who is high blood? Who want to be healed that side? Stop there. You see this brother at the back. You are in front, but this brother run better than you. Come on. Come on. You are healed. Come on. You are free. Okay, congratulations. You people here, you are free. Let me get... Someone here on pastor here wants to be anointed. Only one person. You see this brother here? This one. He ran better than you. Receive anointing now. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave him. Leave him down there for a while. Let me get one person you want to get married that side. You see this one. And this, this, all of you stand there. Come on. Take it. You people who are down, you will marry. You are standing, you won't marry. 
Congratulations. Let me get someone this side who's sick. Stop there. What sickness are you? I've got a problem of a backache. Oh, you know, you're not sick. If you're sick, you'll go to the doctor. Doctor will tell you I'm, you're sick of. Not a problem of. Yes, it's a sickness or what? I will reconsider it, it's a sickness because it's been troubling more than And why, why you didn't go to the doctor? Daddy? Why you didn't go to the doctor? I always consult to the doctor about and the doctor problem. say what? Can you see if now you come to me you say, I've got a problem. And you go to the doctor and doctor never told you. His doctor never told you. Are you telling me the truth? He never told you you are sick of what? Normally, when I go to the doctor, I will consult with my uh, listen, voice. Listen, listen. Doctor never told you you are sick of what? Not specifically. Can you see why you people go will never bless you? Because you people, you, you, you lack the truth. You lack the truth because you'll be afraid of these people here. And you don't know where these people are coming from. Understand? This is the main problem you people are having. And that is why you find God can heal you. Because an unconfessed sin is a dangerous disease in your body. An unconfessed sin is a very dangerous disease in your body. You hear me? Huh? Huh? Yes, sir. An unconfessed what? Sin. Sin. Is a dangerous disease in way in your body. So tell me, I'm asking you for the last time. What sickness are you having? What is the doctor said? Okay, I don't have any sickness there. You say what? I don't have any sickness. Doctor said you're not sick. When you consult the doctor, doctor say you're not sick. Doctor said you're not sick, eh? Uh, you're still afraid of these people? No, I'm not. So speak. I'll pray for you. And that's the thing that God wants to heal you. If you see why people, they die hiding sin. Because the Bible says when you hide your sin, you never what? You never prosper. Okay, daddy, okay. The sickness that a doctor once said I have is uh, bronchitis. Ah. Apart from that, daddy, so I don't want to lie. Who, you it's came not. with you here? Who came with you? My family. So, all right. Are you telling me that all along you were hiding or afraid to say bronchitis? Because bronchitis is as good as your nose. Yes. Eh? yes. Are you telling me that if I come to you and say, what sickness are you? And you are failing to say, my nose can my nose. Can you be ashamed to say I've got a problem of a nose? No. Eh? No. Okay. This is the problem. That's why you find people like me, when I come to you, I just say, your right side is giving you a problem. And I pray for you. I pass. Because if I say you go this way, ah, you are going to fight me. You are going to prove that I'm lying to you. Who came with you here today? My family there. That's the reason why you are afraid. Where's your family? Yes, that's the reason why you are afraid. I'll pray for you. I'll pray for God loves you. Where do you come from? Rustenburg. Huh? Rustenburg. Rustenburg. Hmm. God loves you. I'll pray for you and then you'll be free. Amen. And where's your boyfriend? Daddy? Where's your boyfriend now? He's in Rustenbeck. Huh? He's in Rustenbeck. And uh, you didn't go with your boyfriend to the doctor? No, I didn't. Close your eyes.
In Jesus' name. I set you free. And I release you. You are free. The book by Apostle Professor J.B. Makananisa, Every Christian Needs Deliverance, is now available at Amazon.com. Get your copy today. Shalom.